Now, as we've already said, as the atom gets bigger or larger, the ionization energy gets smaller. We've said that as the trend goes, so as you go from fluorine to lithium, the ionization energy decreases as the atom gets bigger, and the ionization energy decreases as you go down a column. Let's take a minute and talk about what the ionization energy is. So the ionization energy has an example for, let's say, lithium atom. And it's going to be the first ionization energy. And it's going to be a reaction. And the reaction looks like this. Take a lithium atom in the gas phase and have it break into a lithium plus ion plus one electron. So here is the electron being lost or electron being removed or lost. And that's what an ionization energy is and you end up with an ion. So it's taking an atom and ionizing it. That's why it's called the ionization energy. Um, and we can do electron configurations for both of these. We have 1s2, 2s1. That's the electron configuration for a lithium atom. And here we have a lithium ion. And since we've removed one electron, and since that electron that is removed is always the outside electron, we end up with 1s2 for the ionization energy here. So what you have to know is trends in ionization energy and um, know that how to write an ionization energy reaction.